Wellness Wednesday, which means we're getting some tips to help us lead a healthier lifestyles. And from our, our friend of the show and local dietitian, Alice Smith, who joins us this morning. Let's say good morning to Alice. Hey, always great to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you all. So this is a cool topic because you chose the theme for this morning's mm -hmm. segment. Tell us what it is and why you chose it. The theme for this morning is figs. So figs are super nutritious. They're delicious and they are in season. So they're in season right now. They have a ton of nutritional benefits. They're very rare and delicate. So if you can find them and incorporate them into your diet, it's going to be super nutritious and it's going to also be delicious. They're in season from now until when, Alice? Through September. So July, okay. August, September is when they are in peak season. So right now. Alice, our neighbors actually have a fig tree, like it's right uh, on the driveway that straddles both of our yards and it's producing a ton of figs right now. I never know what to do with them <laughs> though. So, and they said, just take them. Usually the birds and the squirrels yeah. get to them first. Give us some fun facts about yes. figs and some of the benefits too. Yes, you definitely have to keep the birds out, but if you have a fig tree nearby, it is a gold mine and definitely try to incorporate figs into your diet. And some fun facts about figs is they are actually one of the oldest known fruits and they are pollinated by wasps. So figs are just very interesting, very old fruit, but they are hmm. not beautiful from the outside. You may notice that with your neighbor's fig tree, you're like, well, these are not very beautiful, but when you open up a fig on the inside, it is so beautiful and so colorful. So really thinking about how you can incorporate that into your diet by just eating them. Just go grab some off the tree, eat those, or you can incorporate those into recipes also. Okay. Yeah, we're showing some them. pictures, I know, of maybe some, some that you're putting in the oven and there's just some nice nutty <laughs> toppings on them. Give us some ideas. Yeah, so you can just eat them raw or you can get very creative. You can make jam, you can top salads, you can top granola or yogurt, or you can stuff with goat cheese and top with bacon. You can wrap with arugula, goat cheese, and prosciutto. Or my personal favorite way, you can dip in dark chocolate and then sprinkle with crushed nuts, and that is gonna be delicious. So if you've maybe tried figs before and didn't love them, or didn't know what to do with them, then try one of these creative ways, and I guarantee that you will love them. Oh, okay. I think it goes with the chocolate. Can you bake them? Was I wrong to say yeah. you can put them in the okay. oven? Yes. Oh, you can. you can absolutely bake them. Yes, for sure. Yes. And they're great to pair with meat. So they are great to pair with chicken or with pork. You can absolutely bake them. I actually was looking at some recipes mm. before the segment and they are often paired with chicken and pork. And Alice, of course, yep. you had me at bacon. So that was that was fine. So yeah, bacon is allowed. Mm. We're allowed to eat figs with bacon. OK, <laughs> this is good. Yes, you I are. Mean, before today, it's a great I just, combination. Mm. I just thought they were good in a cookie. You know, that was pretty much fig newtons were really the only <laughs> things that you talked about figs with. So so Alice, if you don't live in my neighborhood, how can you find figs and yeah. how can you keep them at home? Well, they are rare because they're so delicate and they don't last a long time. So they will be in some grocery stores seasonally, but you're more likely to find them at a farmer's market from a local farmer mm. or from a fig tree in your neighborhood or in a neighbor's yard. And they last about a week when you, after you pick them, they last about a week. So you want to store those in the, in the refrigerator and then try to prepare those or consume those fairly quickly. Okay. Oh, that's good to know about a week shelf life or fridge life. Okay. Yes. Good. Well, wonderful yes. as always, Alice, to see you. And thank you for sharing your knowledge with us here on the local vibe and everyone at home. You can always find more healthy eating tips by visiting aliceapproved.com or follow along on her Instagram page. I'll